Well, praise Jesus, everybody. Thank you for joining me. You're listening to The Lookout Guy, and I'm Michael Tobin, your lookout guy. And today, this is take two of one show. I was toying around with it yesterday, and I've spent more time than I ever thought I would learning about uh, European football, which is soccer, and because there's a group in Scotland that I learned of last year, shortly before Christmas. A friend of mine online from Scotland, he turned me on to this band. He he actually posted a song. Somehow, through him, I saw a Christmas song because I was hunting for indie Christmas songs. So, he had this group on his page called the Cundies, and they are from Dundee, Scotland. And by the way, Dundee, Scotland, it's got the most unique dialect in Scotland, and it's a working class city. And it's almost comparable to like Brooklyn, you know, they've got the most unique accent in in uh, the United States, other than the southern accent each state if you're good enough you could tell if somebody is from South Carolina or North Carolina I could definitely tell people that are from Virginia and sometimes Texas but you, you there's a lot of hit and misses with accents um, but anyhow got off base on that um, so this band Cundies the front man is uh Gary Robertson, and I had actually used their Christmas song. It's called Christmas in the Schemes, and Schemes, it's spelt, you know, S-C-H-E-M-E-S. I don't think it's a double E, -E S-C-H-E-M-E-S. It's a play on words from their town, Uh, you know. I kind of I kind of have a feeling that it's like ah what's the scheme for the day or whatever. But anyways, that's just my guess, but it's a it's a play on words. But they made a Christmas song called Christmas in the Schemes and they changed the spelling S K E E M Z. But and I used it in one in one of my Christmas uh segments. It was a 12 part, you know, for the 12 days of Christmas and it started uh in November. And by the time it was Christmas, man, it it was like going through a marathon getting 12 uh Christmas podcast episodes before Christmas and then the last one on Christmas Day. But I believe it was the third I could go back and look, but I believe it was the third day of Christmas I used uh the Cundies, uh Christmas song. Awesome song. I want to have that for you. And there's a new song. It came out late last month. Or, or it's it's the 14th right now. And I think it was actually the first middle of the first week of this month it came out. It turns out that there were several bands across Scotland that were having a contest to see who can have their team, the Tartans, the Scot- Scottish football team, who can come up with a anthem for the team to pump them up. And it turns out that the Cundees, in an article that came out yesterday, showed that the Cundees got the uh, the number one fan votes. Which is pretty cool. So I went through the songs of the other bands. And they're all awesome songs. I wish I was a marketer. And I don't really like putting out my ideas online. But in comparison to something that we did here in San Diego in Southern California. um, Back in the 1970s. Somebody in San Diego came up with an idea to make an album called Homegrown. And I believe they probably came out with six six albums, LPs, you know, the vinyl. 
and each one had I don't know maybe eight or eight or nine or ten songs both sides of the the record and it was called homegrown and, and they were really clever catchy funny songs and it was supposed to represent San Diego so searching the internet and finding out all all I can about the Cundies band between Gary and Stevie another bandmate uh they 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 know a lot they really know a lot uh maybe they could come up with this but come up with a record of course you know that's not a a hard thing for somebody to say hey let's make a record but whoever's first has dibs right finders keepers losers sweepers i found the idea and i did it first so that would be cool i i think it would be really cool to make a record and it would really boost the morale for for uh the nation of scotland that would be that would be really cool to, to uh pump up scotland and i actually uh had a an online audio conversation with uh robert today and i'm going to let him tell you about it the 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 Scotland team is in the runner ups for the championship the euro championship and robert says a little bit about that so i'll let him do it and so i'm going to play the new song i don't even think i said the name of, i didn't the name of the song i'm just beside myself with this song it is so awesome and even back when i heard christmas in the schemes i'm like i have never heard anything like this and my friend said that they were a punk rock band. So I'm like, yeah, they're punk. And somebody says, dude, that is punk. You say something, and they go, dude, that is punk. That's like a compliment. It doesn't mean that it's the genre punk rock, but it's like, whoa, that is so punk rock. That That, that is uh, far out, you know? So I, I've never heard anything like it. And you're gonna hear it, and you're gonna know what you know what I mean. And the new song it's it's titled "Kilts On Taps Off," and off in their dialect is spelled A F F. Kilts on and, and the top, of course, is a shirt. And you know, you, depending on where you're at, if you're in the military, civilian, or whatever, a top could be a hat. And uh, but it's taps off. Rip your shirts off, keep your kilts on, right? <laughs> Anyways, it, it is such a cool song. Kilts on, taps off. And after reading a couple of articles in the English papers, the British papers, I'm like, you know what? That is really brilliant. And literally, the Cundies, they tapped in to the right the lyrics the mood and the sound and and the instrument they just tapped into everything it, it's got the bagpipes bass drums lead guitar everything so it is such an awesome song and i want to find a couple more songs also and if you want to download their songs i recommend See, I was a little shy about going to the the website because I'm like Brooklyn. That's that's where their their music is is uh, is uh, at to uh, download. But it's a website, tarbeachmusic.com. dot com. It's like get get hooked on phonics, folks. It is spelled the way it sounds. Tar Beach. T a r b e a c h m u s i c dot com, tarmusic dot com. So I'm I'm actually going to go to it. I want to go to it and see if I could get a, a hard copy CD. I, I I don't really like the downloads that much myself, but downloads are pretty cool anyways. Keep them on your PC if you still have a PC, right? Or or a fancy laptop. No sense in keeping anything on a laptop unless it's a good laptop i've never even had a laptop actually but 
a PC, keep it on. Don't you keep it on your phone if you've got an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone. Mine's an Android. And I could have things on my iPhone as long as it's hooked up to uh, the cloud so you don't lose it. Spend $1.99 a month or $6.99 a month for cloud space. It's worth it. You get some terabytes. Uh, but anyways, yeah, go to tarbeachmusic.com for their music. And you're like, why does this guy keep on saying this? Well, after you hear the music, you're going to be like, I want to go. Oh, and the good thing about Tar Beach Music now is I find out it's not going to Vinny or Vito or somebody. Yeah, I got, I'm part Italian. I could say that. I could joke around. But it's it's a fellow Scotsman who actually lives in New York. And he's, uh, that's, that's the guy's occupation is, uh, e-sales you know internet sales so it's it's a cool thing the band they really give to their community and anyways i can't really say enough about the cundies i just spent 30 minutes watching a bunch of videos about their band on youtube so look them up on youtube and i'm sure they're most likely on spotify but they're definitely on youtube and tarbeachmusic.com so that's my intro for the Cundies and hey here's here's Gary Robertson the front man for the Cundies on today's game and the song Kilts On Taps Off well hello everyone listening on the Lookout Guy podcast to uh, Michael's show it really is a great um, honour and pleasure to be uh, speaking with you guys. We uh, at the Cundies in Dundee, Scotland, brought out the song Kilts on Taps Off uh, to fire up the Scottish football team at the Euro Championships, which is happening right now. Or, sorry, should I say soccer over where you guys are? Or wherever you are in the world. But... Sadly, it wasn't it to be the day we got beat 2-0 from the Czech Republic. But we now have probably the most massive game in recent history against the English, the old enemy. The, the nation that we've had so many battles with on the football pitch and also through history going back since uh, the beginning of this island. And uh, <clears throat> you'll maybe hear from my, my voice that I've had a few wee drinks the day <laughs> and I'm going to hear a few wee mere to drown the sorrows. Um, but yeah, looking forward to Friday. It's going to be massive. We've brought out our new single, Kilts on Taps Off, which is uh, released for Tar Beach Music. You can digitally download it um from www.tarbeachmusic.com up there in New York uh, from a fellow Scotsman that uh, runs the place. So, yeah, we'd just like to say thank you, Michael, a million thanks. And, um, yeah, have the support and keep positive. <laughs> As Scottish people, <laughs> we hate to keep positive because we get so many knockdowns but we'll be back. Come on, Scotland, let's get right into the English. A link for live commentary for Friday's game. Yeah, I'll give you. Let's go again. 
What's happening guys, it's uh, Gary Robertson here in Dundee, Scotland from the punk rock ska Celtic band, uh, the Cundies. Um, yeah, we watched the Scotland game today, the football soccer game as you guys would call it, and we lost, but <laughs> as Scottish history goes, we've had so many knockdowns, but we are eternal optimists. We just keep getting back up. So um, we'd love to thank all you guys out there for your support. And uh, yeah, just continue and enjoy the music. We've got loads more music coming your way. So um, yeah, stay tuned to Michael Tobin and the Lookout Guy and really appreciate all your support. Cheers, guys. Come on, Scotland! Bring on the English! To Gary Robertson of the Cundies. Yeah, that was really cool. Thank you for uh, for having this uh, audio for the podcast. And <laughs> got a little history there. And an update on today's game. And looking forward to Friday. Go Scotland. Yeah. Um, I know what I'm going to play next, and I told you about Christmas in the schemes. And speaking of Christmas, I have <laughs> I listened to all almost all twelve of my twelve days of Christmas uh, specials from last year. I listened to them on my earbuds at work today. I was listening, and it was so funny because I'm listening to things like Bach. Um, Mozart, you know, and uh, the Peanuts special piano uh, Christmas tunes, and there's so much chaos going on in my work, people being all animosity and everything, and I'm listening to classical music, and it, it was just so hilarious, but it was awesome, listening to Christmas music all year, it's already past the half year mark, so it's almost Christmas, like five more months, so I want to play the Christmas in the Schemes, but here's another uh, newer song, Pete and Diesel, this one came about uh, within the year that, since I found out about 
the Cundies in Scotland. So it's Pete and Diesel. And if you want to check out the YouTubes, go to uh, you go to YouTube and see the Cundy videos. Uh, just type in Stevie Cundy, S T E V I E, Cundy, C U N D E E. So here is Pete and Diesel. This is a, a rad. This is a rad song. Gary on the bagpipes. Like the 
Okay, so that was Pete and Diesel. First up was Kilts on Taps Off from the Cundies. And to finish it off for the triple header on this quick one, because I've got to get this going real quick because it's soccer season and this is time sensitive, I want to complete it with the first Christmas song that you're hearing this year. By the Cundies, Christmas in the Schemes. Merry Christmas to the Cundies. Ho, ho, ho. Go Scotland. Remember Friday, I'll, get, I'll give you the link for live commentary for Friday's game, the English and the Scots. Oh, really? That's enough of that. Cundies. Hope you enjoyed the show. You're listening to The Lookout Guy, and I'm Michael Tobin, your Lookout Guy. That was the Cundies from Dundee, Scotland. And remember, uh, like Robert said, 
he said just lift up Scotland and because they have been going through a lot of ups and downs uh, as we have here in the states also um, just read the headlines um, but anyways hey the bandmates of the Cundies Gary Robertson Steve Cundy Trotsky Cundy and Tez the Cockney Cundy three cheers for the Cundies and as always hey let's let's uh pray for Scotland this Friday hey who doesn't want a prayer for for something as big as this Scotland is in the uh the runner ups for the uh the euro uh football season and the english are going to be playing them this friday and i like i said i'll give you the link for uh live commentary of the game i i looked it up while i was at work on break and just lift up scotland hey i always give you the prayer line 24 hours a day, 7 days a week because it would just be a little bit mundane to go into, you know, everything that's going on. I don't even like to say the word, but the thing that's going on, you know the thing. Um give this give this uh number a call from the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association and I'm going to call them up and pray for Scotland too. And people say, well, why would God make another team win? I don't know, but he gives people skill. And wouldn't it be something if Scotland wins and something happens and and everybody says, you know, they shouldn't have won. <laughs> but that happens all the time. Oh, they shouldn't have won. The Chargers shouldn't have won. Um, but anyways, I'm going to lift them up. The number is one eight 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 three eight eight two six eight three. And oh, speaking of Scotland, here's an update of Bill Little, the uh, the creator of Scott Films. Um, he's an actor, a producer, and a director and a writer. The upcoming pilot series of a S- Scottish cop show. I can't wait to see it. And, and they're they're already working with Roku, so people all over the world will be able to see it through Roku. Um, my friend Ricky Davis, hey Ricky, how's it going? Um, he was doing a photo shoot today with uh, he, he had a, a few still shots of being in the studio. It's like a movie studio, the camera and everything, the lights. The umbrella, the white, big, big white umbrella. Um, they're already working with Roku, folks. That is just awesome. Uh, Scott Films and, and the TV series, upcoming TV series, and they. I hope they have the their new trailers. But my friend Ricky Davis, his song is uh, "The Proud in the Blue," and they were doing a photo shoot with him today. And how they're going to use it in the film, I I don't know, but I can't wait to see it. So that's the update. My friend Ricky Davis, indie artist, uh, ISA member, International Singer-Songwriter Association, uh, is already doing a photo shoot today. And I'm actually going to get get one from him autographed. I ain't a big crazed fan, but you know the thing. He's a good friend of mine. So that's an update. They're working with Roku, and it's going to be on Roku, and it should be broadcast all throughout uh, the United Kingdom also. So look forward for this film. It's called Extreme Justice. You'll be hearing about it. So that's awesome. All right, that's it, man. Speaking of Scotland, that's pretty cool. Killing two birds with one stone. Thank you for joining me on The Lookout Guy. I'm Michael Tobin, your Lookout Guy.
hope my English friends don't get mad at me for praying for Scotland. <laughs> <laughs>